total nerdery. So for the past three days, I have decided to go on a little mission to learn something called open stage control, because I want to build a new touch template to control all my music with. And uh, yeah, so all of this is work in progress. I uh, There's so much to learn and do. However, I did all this off the top of my head and um, <laughs> like, I'm probably going to come undone soon because there's just so much other stuff I've got to program. But this is the main page and it has this nice little welcome to John O'Bonnet. <laughs> welcome to John O'Not Bonophonic touch. And obviously this art. Um, here is the main menu. These buttons here, all the buttons are just rough at the moment, um, as in how they look. But these are zoom buttons. They're going to stay. If they're colored like this, then they're going to stay permanently always there. So these are up here just as an indicator of what other main buttons are going to be on this main page. That I use all the time, basically stuff that I don't want to page hop. Anyway, let's go to MIDI page. And all of a sudden it switches. You see these. These are like little um, bars, uh, uh, text labels. Select velocity buttons, fix velocity, they're all on tap. Uh, oh yeah, I forgot to say, here's a import. So all import MIDI, video, audio, and export. And that should be the same color as that, but I've messed that up. So MIDI, advanced MIDI editing windows, control the lane um, stuff. Um, fix velocity, select velocity, standard stuff. Uh, delete button, if you ever want to delete CCs. Or anything else press that and they all come up select button copy button um here are all midi editing stuff like legato and thin out and all that kind of stuff and a few i've forgotten so far other cc things um here's mod expression for brian velocity and if i want to hit mod i can press this and all of a sudden this menu comes up for lowering and raising mod data and compressing it and expanding it same with expression vibrato velocity this has got out of hand in the last few days i only wanted to build a little sheet um anyway so here we've got advanced mini editing windows let's hit cc faders now we've got actual faders controlling mod expression vibrato volume obviously you need a bit of magic tightness release there's loads of other stuff that's going in here but these are just the starting point um, and the labels mic positions so close tree ambient outrigger gallery and all sorts of others as well there'll be sub menus for like hans over strings with 16 mics and all that kind of stuff xy pad there's going to be multiple xy pads but here's just one for now um these buttons don't do anything uh right so obviously if we go that's just the midi page now articulations this will be contextual so whenever you click on a track with expression maps all the expression maps will show as and when i also have menus just to show whatever i want sample library selection buttons pretty self-explanatory um if you notice the theme uh these buttons are dead at the moment and then we've got um this is going to be quite an interactive bar that i'm sort of designing on the fly uh, these buttons stay but let's say that i want to click on uh, i want to create a track i can just click that and all my track selection comes up this is going to be transposition and then other menus i've made ready that i've got other plans for in a minute um here is a menu system that covers over these but leaves all the important buttons so i don't yeah it just covers these up uh brand tracks secret this is going to be markers here's a quantized panel and then i'm going to make a note selection grid where I can select anything in four, four, five, four, seven, eight, and just instantly select beats and whatever I want. And that's not beats with a Z. <sighs> this has been a long three days. Anyway, there's lots of little secret buttons on this. 